Right, hello as soon as this starts. have any medkits. But hello everybody if there's people on. So the same NPC skin's been used quite a few times here. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a small magazine, isn't it? So let's see, because, like, that guy... Look, yeah, that same guy, that same guy. We're killing clones. Is that him as well over there? No, that is a slightly different skin, that one. Oh yeah, it's it's not like they've made a revolver with uh, less than six rounds. I know, I know you can get five round revolvers and seven round and eight round revolvers. But yeah, it'd be weird if they'd done like a four round revolver or something. I remember what the button was now to do the um like listening thing that's a feature. Because there's a button, isn't there, you can press where you can hear people through walls like X ray vision sort of thing. Which I know is a bit cheaty, but I've not even used it yet. I used it in a tutorial and they brought it up and I don't think I've used it since. None of those buttons. Not the PlayStation button. Not that. Not start. Does it say in the um, tutorials? Um, Oh, R1, okay. Yeah, correct. So, yeah, it's because we obviously when you're aiming, R1 is shoot. But, yeah, it's because it's only when you're not aiming. Right, okay, yeah, that's good. Thank you. That's why I was getting confused. Or is R2 shoot? I can't remember. bit like playing manhunt, you're gonna smack somebody with a bottle and then shiv them. Or I can just do that. Oh, 
Ooh, ammo. Right, I've at least got spare ammo for the revolver, so I might as well reload it. But you're right, ZR, and you're right, Ethan, anyway, if I didn't say hello. My uh, Yugoslav M56 came today, so I'll get a video done on that early next week, yeah. definitely. Yeah, although part of the story is that they're horrible murderers. Give me your hand. And so do I. Yep. Yeah, you don't have to kill people in Metal Gear Solid 5, correct? Like or like Deus Ex or Dishonored or any of those. You can, you know, dart people or whatever. Trap. Mine? What? Explosive traps. Watch where you're walking. Mine? I want them to set the trip wire off. Come on. Boom! Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the M56 is pretty cool because it's like the love child of an MP40 and a PPS43. So it's a Tokarev SMG that looks like an MP40 but isn't an MP40. Because Yugoslavia is like weird domestic guns. But the fact that they are actually fairly cheap uh, DX it was nice. Yeah, they're all dead, not a big surprise. Come on, I want them to, um, run through there. Come on, then. I mean, I know I could shoot them once, but still, I want them to. I can never remember, can they actually see you, or do they just have really bad eyesight? Oh, oh shit, that was close. Hey, let me waste the rifle around. Oh, no. Come on, run into the trap. Oh, fuck's sake, I thought she was going to stop the one setting the trap off then. Okay. Huh? Uh. I've got Fallout 4. Yeah, I think I've streamed it before. The only annoying thing of Fallout 4 I've got on PC, not PlayStation, is just how badly optimised it is. Because Fallout 4, even on a 3090, you can't run it at max settings 4K. It just stutters. Um, like, again, I know if you use the lower res texture packs and all that, but Bethesda are just so bad at optimising games. It's like every other game I've got I can run at 4K 60fps, but not Fallout 4. I think we gotta get down this. <laughs> Fallout 76 ran even worse than Fallout 4. Mudslide. Whee! Has she got a muddy arse now? Mud. If so, that's not very realistic. Oh yeah, she has got mud on her arse, yeah. Can I use photo mode to inspect the mud on her ass? Nah, it's, it's not obvious obvious, is it? But I still like little features like that. Yeah, I've got... I can't, you can mod it, but again, the more mods you add, the less stable it gets. There's a good zombie survival mod I like for Fallout 4, which completely changes the game. Yeah, the um, zombie one's quite good, but it completely changes the game. Um, I don't think your first comment showed up, Fabus. If you said something, because in context, I don't think what you said. Um, Some stupid graffiti, eh? Do you 
think it is? Looks like they're um kind of a cult, doesn't it? Oh, there's a truck there with shit in the back of it. Uh, that sounds interesting. There's um a really good looking Fallout 1 mod somebody's making for um Fallout 4. Right, so I can now reload my um rifle with one extra round. Um, I don't know how good all of them are the top of my head. I mean, I know in Dead Island the zombies are fucking annoyingly strong because it's got level scaling in. But I mean, in general, the zombies that you have to destroy the brain to kill them. Because in like The Last of Us, the zombies aren't really that strong. They're, they're, it's that a bit like, um, what's it, 28 Days Later, where if the body takes enough damage, the people die. But yeah, do the RE zombies get, like, other umbrella bioweapons with them? You okay? Yeah, sorry, it's just the smell. Uh, yeah, I like it, Stoic Jedi. I've seen all of it before. Um... Because I know this game's obviously very divisive with the fans, but it doesn't really bother me. Um, uh, you know, like, most of the things people whinge about in this. Um, the TV series, I did watch the first episode of the TV series, and what I found really distracting with that, it's the same writer and some of the same people that did HBO's Chernobyl, which I really like. But there's a fucking bit in it where they use part of the Chernobyl soundtrack, and it broke my immersion, because I was like, I know that music, I know that music. It's the bit um, where Ellie turns up at the quarantine place. It's the same bit of music as when Sitnikov goes to the roof. No. It's not counter chickens, though. Did you like the first Last of Us, Stoic Jedi? Because bear in mind, I didn't play them till well after they came out. So I can understand why it would be quite different if you played Last of Us 1 when it came out. Got, like, really attached to the characters in that, you know, that sort of thing. And then played this or, you know, like, didn't like some of the things in this. Whereas, basically, I'd already had a lot of the both games spoiled for me before I actually played any of them. Because I think I ended up getting Last of Us 1. When Last of Us 2 came out, a lot of people didn't like it, and then it was really cheap second-hand on PlayStation 3. Oh, no, tricky. oh, there's some more Stalker 2 pictures came out that look really nice. The swamps are in it. Uh, the ones from Clear Sky, which I like. Yeah, there's um, battle rifles, isn't there? Because there's an M14 in All right, Flazzy. There's, um, battle rifles in, um... Stop. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I haven't looked up the composer, Ethan, but, um, there's, there's definitely the bit that sounds exactly like, um, it's called Evacuation from the Chernobyl soundtrack. Um, because I even put the two clips next to each other in, like, Vegas to compare them, like, which I couldn't upload to YouTube, obviously, for copyright reasons, but I'm pretty damn certain it's either the same thing or slowed down slightly. Uh, a little trip mine thing, Flazzy. See, there it is. So, yeah, it's Claymore, look. Hopefully they might bring it out on consoles eventually if um, it does really well. But again, Stalker is very much a PC game, and I don't mean that in, like, an elitist way. I just simply mean that, yeah, good luck running Stalker on, um, you know, most consoles with... If it ends up being really big open world and that, it's probably not got the best optimization. Probably don't cut through here much with all this. Tricky to see. Yeah, like we are saying, Flazzy, I quite micrally likes them. I like them. Um, but this is the controversial game. Like, most people really like the first game, but a lot of people didn't like this. Whereas, because the gameplay and graphics and everything are better in the second one, the story things don't really bother me if that was what... What was the... Is it L2 that's sprint? I can't remember. More of this stuff. Huh. Oh, can I just jump through the window? Oh, 
it's a gun bench. I kind of want to upgrade the shotgun because I actually like this. Fire ray. Let's increase magazine capacity because that actually definitely seems the most useful thing of all the guns. Are they actually going to put a longer tube on it? Oh, that's actually quite cool, because uh, that's the thing I like about the gun mods in Red Dead Redemption 2, is they actually affect the model. You know, like the barrel and that, affecting the accuracy, that you actually put a longer barrel on the gun. Yeah, I'll say, it's the closest something that reminds me of Manhunt that isn't Manhunt, like when you're just shanking people. Um... Uh, yeah, let me, um, let me just check, because I want to check the, uh, Last of Us series soundtrack and see if it's the woman that did the Chernobyl soundtrack. Because I, I don't know if it actually is the same person, or if it's just like they've... Because they obviously use some of the game music as well. So, um... Let's have a look. I think it's Hilda or something, her name, isn't it? The lady that did the soundtrack, um, to, uh, Chernobyl. Right, on... On fucking IMDb on my phone, how do I get up all the stuff that says, um, you know, like the behind-the-scenes people? I probably have to go to season one first, do I? Right. There's the cast. Director Craig Mazin is the guy who did Chernobyl. Um, all cast and crew, that's what I want. Uh, music by... Here we go. No, nope. David Fleming and Gustavo Santanola or something. So not the woman from Chernobyl. So that's more of a rip-off thing. All right, hype. Uh, what's that, Stoic? In the is that in the accessibility options? Um, it's gone down a little bit, hype, but not loads. It's um, if you saw the video I did the other day of the wellies, um, it's just all frozen at the moment. But um, I'm not walking the dogs again till Monday, so I'm hoping if we don't get any more rain for the next couple of days, it'll be a bit easier. Um, yeah, uh, so what's that? Is that any options or extras? No. Oh, oh the options are at the top. Um, accessibility. Don't need any of those. Um... Oh, let's put ledge guard on so I don't fall off. Um, where's the one then for uh, picking stuff up automatically? It's not it's not the end of the world if I don't pick stuff up automatically, like you're saying, it's just because there's so many like extra options you can do. Oh, I might put listen mode on toggle actually. Um I'll put lock Um we'll, we'll just keep it like that. It's it's not the end of the world like we said about missing stuff. Because this is the sort of thing that I probably replay, not necessarily on the stream. Um, you want a teal peach? Uh, you've got a couple of inches of snow, Fuzzy. But yeah, for for just because I I can I can actually pick this up probably on the stream because it's a video game stream. But yeah, um, hang on, let's put that bolt round the right way. Got so yeah, this came today, which is cool. So I'll get the video done on that in the week. Uh, yeah, we, I, was on, I was on about it just now, Peach, because I was on about there's a bit of music in it, like I was saying in the Twitter thing, where it, they've either used the bit of music from the Chernobyl series, or they've done something that sounds exactly like it. And that, I find that really distracting. Fucking fish. Oh, I'm not reading all the text at the moment. I'll probably do a thing when I'm not streaming and read all the notes. I saw you in, like, some steal their uh, fucking uh, medals. Oh, that was actually a thing. What? Yeah, doesn't time fly? Yeah, not the three in a good way. But. 
Yeah, if anybody was wondering, that's um, another DAC I got because it was um, quite cheap at the moment where they're doing clearances on some of them. And this one was one for an extra 50 quid. You could get like the mag pouches for it, its sling, its bayonet, some inert rounds. So I did all that because for 50 quid more, that's not much more at all. It's um, not quite an MP40, let's put it that way. Anyway, we don't need to go around this building anymore, do we? Um, so, yeah, what was the sprint thing? Was that hold L1? No, no, don't jump into the... F oh, that was close. Oh, I meant to just go through it like that, am I? Okay, never mind. I thought I was meant to do a jump across the top of it. Oh. Hey, you're using a different account, Bilbo, to see if it lets you comment properly, if it wasn't letting you comment. If it's YouTube blocking words, though, there's no way around that. More of this stuff. Huh. Yeah, that's that's the problem, Bilbo, is basically YouTube ha seems to have a list of like almost like banned words or like censored words. And apparently they're not even the same across all channels. So one of the words it blocks for me is asbestos, um, as in if people try and say asbestos in the comments, it often blocks it. Whereas, says, uh, tripwire there, tripwire there. Yeah, well, another thing, though, that's the opposite of that in this is when they sometimes have to pick up stuff. They don't pick up all the stuff they could pick up. Like when she had to pick up fuel in one of the other streams and decided to only take a little bit rather than a full jerry can. Gas Musk. Um, Elon Gas Musk. Um... Yeah, that, that's... Uh, there's a trip wire there, though. I don't want to just run into that immediately blow up again. Well, the part of the problem is that it's just, like, where YouTube's made this kind of, like, thing where I think it's probably to try and, like, filter spam or whatever and loads of other stuff, but it just doesn't logically make much sense. Um, so I can't go through the bush, and there's a trip wire there. Unless I meant to squeeze through here. Right. I mean, I could probably just shoot those things, couldn't I? Can I set them off with a bottle? Yeah, okay. Smart. Oh, that sounds good, Peach. So you yeah. have a Belgian... I'll oh, just read it properly. You have a Belgian mask with the what, panoramic shield. The sort of oh, lens. Bad. Super, super heavy, like... Uh, it's... Uh, I'd assume it's just old rubber, because some old masks of rubber smell really weird. Um, I've got an NBC suit I don't keep in the house, because it has such a weird smell to it. And again, it's it's not like somebody's died in it kind of smell. It's just literally, you know, like the kind of smell of, um... Um, you know, it's just that kind of horrible smell of, um, the rubber they used has a weird smell to it. Uh, no new gas masks recently, at least not ones I've done a video on. Like I said, there's the M56 SMG. Because I can, act, you know, unlike masks, I've actually seen some, like, DAC guns turning up cheaply now, which is weird. Yeah, I can imagine it's not fun. It wasn't fun when I went to one of my mates and didn't drive, carried the Bren gun in a, like, proper gun bag and all that over my shoulder. And, yeah, that, like, you know, having a, whatever it is, like, nine kilo rifle with all the accessories... In a bag. We're not being subtle right now. Huh? Maybe Leah will come to us. Yeah. Or they might be waiting to ambush us. Ugh. Need to get in there. No, I'll just run around like an idiot. Thank you. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, no, I haven't even watched the old Avatar movie, despite the fact I have it on Blu-ray. Because the old Avatar movie was one that, um, when we bought a Blu-ray player at one point, it was included as a free Blu-ray of the Blu-ray player, when they were like a newish thing. And I've still never got around to watching Avatar. I like James Cameron's old stuff, like Aliens and The Terminator. I don't have much... See, I'd rather take that fu what Why can't I have the fucking M14? Why do I have to have... Look What's the logic of this look? So you've got um, an old bolt action like that. Hang on. And then you see on the ground a fucking M14 look with like some sort of scope on it. Uh, no, it probably doesn't have a scope, does it? No. But, um, oh yeah, let's not take the M14, this magazine-fed rifle. Let's just take the ammo out of it. I mean, if it was visually broken, I wouldn't mind that. But it's the fact that, oh look, here's a better gun than mine. Shall I swap my gun? No. So we're going in through the window. Oh yeah, the, um, hype people are saying there's the ground branch like new beta thing coming out, isn't there? I tried using a beta code, but annoyingly it didn't work. I don't know why. Seeing as nobody else seems to have an issue with them, I'll just try again on a different date, I guess, but, um... Yeah, that'll be, that'll be quite good when there's some more ground branch content out. Yeah, it definitely feels like using a little axe like that, like we are playing Manhunt. Yeah, as I said, I wait for the patch to either become available to me or, like, actually come out properly. Yeah, I, I get you there, Flazzy. It just seems strange to me that, you know, like, you wouldn't actually try and take bits of, um, the thing, you know. Like, especially if it was a really nice bolt action. Like, I could definitely understand it if it was, like, one of those finished bolt actions or whatever. But, yeah, and it's like an M14 is not my favourite battle rifle either, but it's just the fact that, yeah... Like, oh, here's a much better gun than, you, especially, like, early in the game when you don't get some of the, you know, like, you know, like, higher mag capacity guns. And it's just the fact they're just leaving it there. Because I've noticed a couple of times, like, with the pistols, that when you, like, see a body with a pistol on it. Um, I'm not going to get it on release, Stoic Jedi, but I might a bit after it's released. Um, you know, it's like when you sometimes see a dead enemy and they've got a pistol that's blatantly a higher capacity pistol than the one you're using. And you're like, I'd rather have that than whatever I'm using. Keep your eyes open. Me. Yeah, Last of Us 1 had a multiplayer, didn't it? Not that I ever played it. Right, Connor? I would never bothered with the Uncharted multiplayer either, but like I, said, I think they physically have them. Right, have I got enough things to craft anything now? So, a silencer. Don't really need any of the stealth things. The health kit one sounds useful when I can get to that. Uh, quite often, but it's, it's not like super combat -y. They do the kind of thing that you get into an area normally, where there's like a load of enemies patrolling it. I'll go down this one, the one that increases your health and all that. It, in a lot of ways, is actually a lot like Manhunt, because they've kind of done that mix of stealth kind of combat thing, where, um... Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know what the joke you're going to make is because, again, the filter hides it. But yeah, YouTube just has a massive like list of words that are shadow banned, so if you try and say them, the comment shows up for you, it just doesn't show up for anybody else. Yeah, I mean, I definitely understand that you probably wouldn't want to use um, an automatic in automatic in some, la um, you know, like, situation like in The Last of Us if you're trying to conserve all your ammo. But um, at the same time, you know, it's also like the thing of, um, it just depends really on what the gun is, doesn't it? If that's the AI thing, yes, I have. But that's annoying because it has loads of things like, oh, you can't ask me a question like this. That's offensive. Um, yeah, what am I looking for in here exactly? Is that graffiti again? Yeah, I, I definitely feel Manhunt's kind of like unappreciated as a bit of a horror game. I'll probably have to go up this staircase now, do I? Uh, it's linked to the same bit we were on before. There's probably just an obvious door down there I've missed. Oh, is that that window's there? Because I can probably break those and climb through. Yeah, I suppose that's another thing, Flazzy, isn't it? Like, again, if you're, um... Yeah, and Manhunt 2 was banned in a lot of countries, Stoic Jedi, despite the fact that Manhunt 2 seems less realistic than the first one. But yeah, it's, it was a game made by Rockstar, but it wasn't kind of comical like GTA. It was like a stealth game where, like, people are hunting you for a snuff film. So you have to, like, kill the hunters on, you know, like, camera sort of thing, if that makes sense. So what's that look like? Because that looks a bit like a SIG to me. That's probably not a SIG, but, you know, like, again, I'd, I'd rather have a SIG than whatever pistol she has. Uh, nuclear war, like I said, anything could go wrong and it could happen, but at the moment, I assume not really. Yeah, pigsy. <laughs> oh, look, here we go. So this is another M14 look, or M14 style gun. See, that one actually looks a bit rusty, but we can take its rusty mag. Uh, they should do dead stock. Whether or not they do is another thing. Nine, we cannot send the leopards. It is too controversial. Shit. Anybody in there? I don't like this. We're too exposed. We have to search all of it. We won't find Leah. Just. I assume I'm not meant to be jumping down there. That's the place we came in at. Oh, I see. I can shimmy along there. One thing I do like about VR goggles is heights are a lot scarier in games when you have VR goggles and you get the proper depth perception of height. Uh, I think you find Ethan. It's Elliot Page now. Check your privilege. <coughs> But yeah, like I was saying, that that we, we ran into that earlier where there was um, another DMR that she didn't take the, um, you know, the actual gun. But like I was saying, that's the annoying thing in this, especially if you have the unupgraded guns, that you see some enemies that blatantly have better equipment than you, and you're like, why can't I just take that?
Um, I'm trying to think stoic, actually. Because there's a lot of games, like, the first time round playing a horror game, they can be quite creepy, but then on replays, they're not creepy at all, because you know what's going to happen. I think it's definitely stuff that's more atmospheric than anything else. Probably has to be first person, because that's more immersive. I don't really find third person. I'm saying that Manhunt's third person, isn't it? But, um... Again, like we were saying, oh, should we look in this case of, um, 556, you know, like, cartridges? No. Might be ammo in there. Yeah, I preferred Soma to Amnesia, but yeah, Friction will do quite good games. You sure? Yes. Guess the universe really wanted her dead, huh? Is that the game where you like a killer teddy bear? Please tell me that's more porn. It's a shame you can't do photo mode, isn't it? Mm. You know? Pornographic Polaroids. Oh no, it's not porn. Okay. That's New Jackson. Look at their fucking smiles. That's her. Conveniently still working, so you can hear, um... Yeah, I mean, it. sometimes I think with games it depends when, if it's post-apocalyptic, when it's sent, set, you know, where everything went wrong. Because obviously if everything went wrong in, like, the 70s or something, they would all be the old chonky ones. But yeah, in a lot of games they do that, like, especially, like, saying I notice it with gas masks, when, like, they're really retro-looking gas masks and something that's meant to be modern day. Oh, I've played Nightmare House mods, yeah. They're sort of like theater, aren't they, a little bit, Nightmare House. There was quite a scary thing that wasn't that. Um, it was a Half-Life 2 mod. Um, was it Under Hell? And there's like a mode in that called The House. And all that is is literally a day-night cycle while you're in a guy's fucking house. And you have to hope the like fucking monster doesn't jump out at you. Like it's not even the proper bit of the game. It's like the proper game is like where you start the campaign. But when you're in the house bit, um, there's like loads and loads of like hidden jump scares. Or like ones that are just, you know, randomly triggered. So if you're stood in a room too long, you know, like the ghost person jumps up. Which way are we meant to be? Oh, I guess we're going back through the TV station now and shooting people. All right, I'll get my Alec Baldwin um, sidearm out. We're shooting a movie. <laughs> So. Yeah, Alien Isolation I found was actually scarier earlier on. And then I found that just went on for too long. But, oh, there was a mod somebody brought up about Alien Isolation that I might, if I can find the mod, I might replay it. From what the sound of it was of the mod, is that the alien doesn't chase you um, as much. Uh, and that actually apparently makes it scarier because it's not as scripted when the alien turns up. Like, it still turns up in certain areas, but, like, you know, the alien is never, um, 
you know, can get further away and like then come back and stuff like that. Yeah, like we're saying, there's even dead bodies of body armor on, and our characters never pick them up, just like they never pick up the better guns. Oh, that person's head's been fucked up. Look. <laughs> Eric Bartwick. It's like in RDR2 when you shoot people in the head, that sometimes happens. Straight ahead. Yeah, I see him. I think, yeah, I think it was meant to be like a 357 or 44 Magnum, though, isn't it? Probably the revolver. Yeah, you are worthless, Eric Bowen. But yeah, I, I hope, I hope they throw the fucking book at him. Um, because again, like... Yeah, it was, but the thing that really pisses me off with that is he apparently said in some interviews, like, you know, like, oh, I was crying afterwards, I was inconceivable, all that. And have you seen there's the police release thing where the police go to speak to him straight afterwards and he's, like, pissing around and joking despite the fact he fucking shot that woman? Oh, there was a comment then that showed up on, um... The screen, Sean's comment showed up on the screen. Oh, it's there. Yeah. What was that in the game with the TV camera? Oh, sorry, I wasn't looking. I was looking at the Eric Bardwin and stuff. All right, bots. I was actually testing the thing with my single action army replica. And yeah, it's what a lot of people say is probably what he did. That he pulled it out where he's like, oh, I didn't pull the trigger, but he was probably applying pressure to the trigger because he doesn't know what trigger discipline is. So when he fanned it, the hammer just went straight forward as soon as you let go of the hammer. Yeah, exactly, Fuzzy, yeah. Because especially because it's single action, it's not like you can, um, you know, like actually shoot it without pulling the hammer back and then, you know, pulling the trigger. Oh, it's a shotgun, I don't want that. I think the main thing that's really annoyed me with him, um, well, not necessarily directly with him, but it's the fact that he keeps doing the thing of, like, going on, um, like, media stuff, doesn't he? And if, if you had a good lawyer, they would tell you to shut your fucking mouth until it goes to trial. But, like, he has to keep going on the media and, like, yeah, keep contradicting himself and whatever else. Probably no point. Is that a door they can get through? This way. Oh yeah, there's no point shooting them if I can't pick up their armor with the bodies. Now I'll shoot that guy. Uh, we'll see some of those in a bit again, probably Flazzy. Uh, I think we're probably supposed to be sprinting, aren't we? There'll probably be shroom people in here. Ah, oh, that sounds good, bots. I had a Diak M56 come today, Yugoslav submachine gun. That I bought just because it was on sale. And I was like, this is one of those Diak guns where if I don't get one now, I'm going to regret it in a year's time when I don't have one and they're really expensive again. Alright, there's, there's probably mushroom people here, look, Flazzy, because we're putting gas masks on. Even though Ellie doesn't actually fucking need a gas mask, so I don't know why she puts one on. 
Yeah, there's a shroom person in the wall. Uh, we ran on this the other day, the stream. Let's see if I can get the camera at an angle and then go into photo mode. Ellie's, um... Oh, so Dana's looks kind of like... A bit like the, um... What's it? GP7 or whatever it is, her one. Yeah, it's... Stoic, as I was saying, yeah, like, the one with the filter at the bottom just looks like a generic panoramic one. Ellie's one looks like a lot like a 3M mask, just in 40mm, not with a proprietary filter. Um, there was a G3 I could have got for 200 quid deactivated at one point, and now they're, like, several grand. And I've had that with other, like, you know, deact guns as well, where they turn up at a surprisingly good price. I think, oh, I can't really justify that. And then they end up being super expensive, like, a year later. Yeah, clickers are my favourite of the zombies, because they're actually the, I'd say, the creepiest. OGL. Oh, fuck's sake. Um. But yeah, last last of our show. Um, yeah, the only thing I was saying to people earlier, bots, that distracted me is there's a bit of music in it. They've either copied from the Chernobyl series because it's a load of the same people that did it, or it's like a bit of music that's so fucking similar to the Chernobyl series. It, it, it's really distracting to me because I was like, oh, it's a bit where Sitnikov goes to the roof. Right, let's move a bit more once we throw this. Uh, HBO Flazzy, so it'll be Sky in the UK. Oh, he's coming around here, yeah, fuck's sake. Oh, he didn't even see me. Yeah, yeah I, I went to a place, sir, where you get all your shit for free to check the decency, laddie. That's where I found my episode. Not that I endorse doing things like that on YouTube, obviously, as a platform, but, you know. Just chasing him around in the circle. Oh, he's got an S10. There's something that looks a lot like an S10. Oh, not again. Uh, these ones are clickers, yeah. That's why they click, they echolocate. They can only hear noise. Uh, I don't didn't know that. How do I have to do that? What, get behind them, get them in the stealth lock thing, and then what, wait for the clickers to get close? That's why I threw the bottle to start with, so the enemies got distracted running around.
Yeah, it was okay. Like I said, I don't think it was great. Like, yeah, not great, not terrible. Yeah, in in the thing like this though, it's just more spores, isn't it? I think that's like a different thing in it. But like I said, a load of people were saying like, oh, it's tentacle type things and that, and it annoys me. It's like that did that wasn't the bit that you know any of the bits that annoyed me. on the other side. Oh, I, I don't know, Flazzy. Um, I was saying, I, I, I just have free view, so anything else I just watch online. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to Stalker 2 because there was some more gameplay release to that and it does look like it's going to be, again, a lot more proper open world, which I was worried it wouldn't be. Fuck. Oh, there you go for uh, Flazzy. Um, if Bots has given you a link to where you totally can't watch it for free, who am I to stop him? Well, to be fair, they'd made a lot of it prior to, um, you know, the war. Although saying that, the war's technically been going on since 2014, just not proper war. It's, you know, been a sort of frozen conflict in 2014. So is that an S10 or an FM12? It looks more like an FM12 to me, actually. That's a uh, photo mode, see if I can. Yeah, I suppose that's meant to be an FM12, isn't it? It's got a weird look thing that looks like it's meant to be a drinking tube, but it isn't a drinking tube on there. It looks more like a wire, like it's a microphone wire. And um, there's no top straps for some reason. There's only... Yeah, how would that work? There's no... There's not... It's not even like a five or a six point head harness, it's like a four point head harness. Cover, I suppose his receding hairline has got in the way of the straps. Bloaters have acid spores. But that didn't sound like a bloater. I suppose if it's in West Ukraine, it's not going to yeah, make much of a difference, is it? We should let them kill each other. Agreed. I hope that if Bill's in it, I hope the guy playing Bill is actually the actor that did the voice acting for Bill, because the character's modelled on how he fucking looks anyway, so there's no point not to have that guy in it, because he's in Deadwood, that actor. I can't remember his name, but it's what's his name in Deadwood is the character name. Um... I think there's a combination of both for a lot of games. Like, I think for stuff that's not really specific for your game, there are a lot of, like, Unity model creators that things people use. No, I don't want to do that again. And back down. Yeah, I'm trying to remember the guy's name in Deadwood now.
You know, the guy who works for Al Squirrigen. I'm trying to remember the guy's name, but I can't. <laughs> How am I meant to increase rate damage of the revolver unless it puts a bigger barrel in it? Oh, yeah, replace the barrel. Yeah, let's do that. Got oh, four stocks or what? Is that a Beretta knockoff she's got there? Nicotero or something. Yeah, I think that's meant to be a Beretta knockoff, isn't it? Like a 92 FS or something. Uh, see you, bots. I'm out later anyway with my family for dinner at a restaurant, so that'll be quite nice. more of the wall people. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's a good idea. It probably, yeah, what would be a good idea is get that done. Yeah, you're right. Not to, like, just keep delaying it for you. But get a video like that done closer to the release of the game and there's, like, a load of, load more trailer kind of hype and then it'll probably get more views. Oh, it's the bloater or whatever they're called, like, the big fat one that fires spores. Well, a lot of that is to for them to not get sued, isn't it? So you give a gun a fake name, you make it look just different enough. It's like you've the blank firing guns, unless they're done under license. They change a couple of little bits of them so it's not so close to a single gun that, um, you know, the gun manufacturer can then sue you over it. That reminds me a bit of Soma, actually. Probably said that when Mike was streaming it. Oh, Infected will not see your flashlight. Okay. Yeah, that reminds me of those guys in Soma. Um, I I sent them an email today, Peach, so um, hopefully they'll get back to me to say, yep, we've got them in stock, or they're coming in on an exact date, and we'll send it to you, or we'll just issue you a refund. Can I stealth kill them? Watch it! No. shamblers come from I don't fucking know but they're disgusting I can't remember any of the names other than the clickers and like the stalkers and whatever the basic ones are
But yeah, if it was me and I was having to deal... Um, Shamblers are also the basic zombie and zombie master, which is one of my favourite mods ever. It was a Half-Life 2 RTS hybrid mod. Right, see ya, Hype. Have a good day. I've played Dead Space 1, yes. I never completed it, because I got to a bit I just kept struggling on. Um, and I imagine it's one of those things that in the remake they'll probably make less annoying. I hope they do. But it was just a bit like where I was really struggling with the 360 controls. It was like one of the space bits where you have to jump from a bit of space to space, and I just kept dying over and over even when I looked up a guide to see what I was meant to do. So I just, you know, got pissed off with it. Ugh, look at those acid burns. Yeah, let's get a picture of the mask. Hide menu, and then I guess I just do screenshot, don't I? Take screenshot. There you go. But yeah, like I said, it's main, main issue with that is it's missing its top strap, so to Yeah, I just tend to not get games on launch anymore because of how many games are just shit on launch, as in really buggy, you know, like DRM issues that they have to fix. Especially when you get games that have an, a problem with the launch and the developer immediately, like, knocks the price down. That's really annoying if you buy something on launch. Let's see where this takes us. Oh, is this a spam triangle one rather than... No, let's hold it. Seems weird to be like that, what they're doing now. It's like, it seems weird to me, like, saying that you can't just jam the door if you're trying to get under it. I don't think those doors are that heavy that they'd break a fucking cart if you put them under them. We have security shutters at work, and they don't, like, fall down on their own. Um, like, I know part of what keeps them up and down is the thing, but it's kind of more like just a pulley system to move the... Because you normally actually have to padlock them when they're fully down to keep them down. They don't just, um crush things and weight, but I suppose it's a video game, isn't it? That's nature for you. Yeah, well, nature's an asshole. Yeah, same, like, loads of new games are shit on release. Even if they're games that end up being good after a while. I say it's very rare I pre-order anything, just because I'm so used to developers fucking up the initial release due to, like, pressure on when they have to get them out or whatever. I might as well craft stuff, shouldn't I? I've got spare stuff, because otherwise I'm going to be walking past stuff I can pick up and not making use of it. I've actually got a video on that, Shadow, uh, that got quite a lot of views. That was like, you know... Uh, the best thing is, if you can get a ship with loads and loads of supplies on it, you'll probably just be anchoring a ship somewhere. Then you're kind of safe, aren't you, for ages? But one of the things I brought up was actually, you know, wearing body armour and stuff like that, so you can't get bitten or scratched easily. Hey, doesn't this look like the lady from the Scar Graffiti? Yeah. Uh, I don't think zombies can swim. I mean, they might float, but they'd have to be able to float well enough to climb up the side of your ship. Yeah, again, it's a backtracking thing, isn't it, Peach? Yeah. But it's just, like I said, it's just a weird video game thing of they fall down so heavily. Get me a soda. Oh, is there a reference on the soda machine? Oh, it's, I see. Tapped on too. The code is 152 something at something. Right, 152, let's try and remember the, um... I don't know what door it's for yet, anyway. But... Yep. Why 
let's see. Oh, no. <laughs> Reset. I, I couldn't even notice which one she was highlighting. Oh, I see, yeah. One, five, two, let's try four, three. Yes. Oh, okay, yeah, that was easy. Magic. Yeah, I suppose it's one where, because you can only press the buttons in once, that makes it a lot easier than um, just trying to guess, like, like you know, 99 digits, essentially, for the... Um, What's that in there? Is, a, is that a full trap there or just some random thing? Oh, is that meant to be like a defibrillator or something? I don't know. It's ammo brand ammo. Um, I assume that... Hang on. If I reload, can I pick up any more? No, so it's one of those games where it doesn't matter how much you've got actually loaded into your gun. It's just a counter that... Covers all the stuff at once, right? That's oh, a room I just came out of. Okay, there's more than one door. I've been in here as well, haven't I? Have I been this way or not? Yeah, okay, so that's the shutter we came through, right? Okay, so yeah, we want to go the other way. Right. I can understand, though, sometimes, like, why you'd stop people backtracking. So imagine you'd get a lot of people get lost in these and then say the game's shit because they can't figure out where to go. Like when those playtesters um, fucked up a bit in Half-Life 2 Episode 2 and things like that because they apparently found the dumbest possible people to playtest their games. Hmm. Must be a way around. I like your optimism. It must be a way around. Yes, there is, because it's a video game. Oh, infected again, by the sound of it. Shit. Shivers. We got this. I do like without the light on, it's actually properly dark in this. Shotgun that guy. There we go. Oh, there's another, um, big fat fucker. Oh no, it's the ass. I guess it's. Oh, I see. It's meant to be acidic. I thought they were just. Oh, I'm nearly dead. Oh, I am dead. Okay. Oh, that actually looks quite painful. Like just having your skin dissolved off. It depends if it's done well or not. I hate games where you have like a limited flashlight bar or whatever. Um. You tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a Molotov if they can't see where I am. Oh, 
Right, let's Molotov that other big fucker as well. There we go, and then hopefully they will move towards the noise. Oh, that, so that fucker I burnt didn't die very efficiently, did I? Alright, let's Molotov him again then. Oh, I don't have any alcohol to make Molotovs. Yeah. I like the fact, fi fact the fire actually illuminates stuff in this game. Because a lot of games still don't do that very well when stuff sets on fire in real time. I mean, Source Engine could do that, but you know. Alright, we got all of them. Okay. I'm ready to get out of here. Same. But yeah, there, there was a bit in the first Last of Us where there's loads of clickers in one area and it turns out the really easy way of killing them is just throw a Molotov. They all run towards the sound of the Molotov and, um, you know, get themselves killed that way rather than actually trying to sneak around them and everything else. Is that the room we were just in? Yeah. Where we came from, wasn't it? Um, probably is this way. Ah, yeah, exit. Thank you, sign. Anything down here before I. Uh, that's just where it was just now, wasn't it? Uh, what's that? Something on there. Oh, yeah, we grab those. You don't need to do that. We've already killed all of them. What the hell happened here? I'm gonna say some kind of train crash. Thanks, Sherlock. When you say the crazies, you mean the crazies as in the film, the crazies. Again, I know Crossed is like a graphic novel thing, never read it. Alright, let's get a photo mode thing of a gas mask there then. Oh, it doesn't let us because it's a um, cutscene. Great. Oh, Zed, Zed, look, it's, it's. What's Putin's guy doing there? Look. He's nearly crushing me there. It's a, it's a special child military operation. It's a new wave of Mobix. <laughs> I don't know, I find that so funny. But, oh no. Okay. Let's rally. Um, I'd say I'd need a gas mask on, because if they're all wearing masks, there's probably something in the air.
Yeah. It's a new, like I said, a new wave of Mobix. Little child, you are not young enough to die for Mother Russia. Go die for special military operation that will last three days. Very 28 days later, that bit with the shadow in the tunnel. Run, bitch! Run! Uh, then run away, I guess, Chubby. Uh, I've got no Molotovs, otherwise uh, I could probably just throw a Molotov behind me. I wouldn't wait there in case one of them just manages to push in one direction. Why don't you secure the door? You know, I personally put... Oh, no, oh, she is. She is jamming it. I thought she... I suppose that would work. You want to tell me what's going on with you? What's going on with me? I just saw you breathe spores. I told you. I'm immune. Okay. You're immune? Come on. I was bitten a long time ago. What the fuck are you talking about? I was bitten and nothing happened. Get you infected if that's what you worry about. I can't make you immune either. Oh, 
be a good place to finish in a minute. Let me just uh, see how long I've been on for. Yeah, an hour and 20 minutes. So yeah, as soon as this bit ends, it'll be when I go off. supposed to do now? Nothing. I just need to rest for a second. Are you fucking kidding me? How long have you known? It was late a few weeks ago. A few weeks? We could have... We could have still turned back. Well, I didn't know. I wasn't sure, okay? I didn't want to be a burden. Well, you're a burden now, aren't you? Uh, yeah. They're not, they're not trying to do some SJW stuff even and say that Ellie got her pregnant. Make sure this place is secure. You just rest. No, you don't know of all the SJW stuff, even in games and films now, what they'll be claiming is possible. Pregnant. Fucking pregnant. How could you keep something like that? Not sold. Still, better be careful. Mmm, beer. So that'd be my priority. Oh, but have they drunk all of it? The people that were here before. It's almost a Henry Hoover, that one, but it's not quite a Henry Hoover. Yep, um, I mean, if she's immune, I suppose you could pillow fight a zombie, but I wouldn't do it unless I was immune. Yeah, we don't want to lower that ladder, because then random people could get in. You weren't much of an electrician. Go oh, only just noticed like where well, yeah, you said that, yeah. Nope. I like how she's like, oh we got fried, I'll just start the generator up. 
Yeah, let's just touch all this electricity while this guy's doing that in this fucking circuit breaker. It's actually quite comfy with the rain. Is that beer cans in the pillow fort? Does look like a good pillow fort. Or oh, um, NATO canteen. US Army style NATO canteen. Houses. <laughs> oh, spooky. No way. Oh, let's see if I can fuck up playing the guitar again in this. I don't want to play a rhythm game, I just want to <laughs> carry on playing an actual shooting game. Let's see a stoic, I'll be off in a second anyway, it's, I'm just waiting for this bit to end, like where it's, because it says like day two in a minute, or whatever it is. And they can't skip her singing, oh no. 
Alright, why well, she's singing? Oh, oh she's not going to sing good. I was going to, um... I was going to look... There we go. Oh, is it day two now? I was going to see if they've approved the leopards for Ukraine yet. No decision on sending German tanks to Ukraine. Of course not. Right, this is a good place to stop, so I'll stop here. Because now we've got a prequel bit coming up. Need to build up your calluses, that's all. Yeah. Right, see everybody. Um, I'm working at the weekend as usual, long hours, so um, I'll not be on until probably Monday or whenever. Have a good, um, have a good weekend.